You've all learned a lot about two-dimensional topologic insulators. Let me conclude this lecture by giving you my own personal view of the current stages of the field. I think there is a general consensus that the two-dimensional topological insulator phase has been observed in mercury telluride samples, namely in the group of Lawrence Mohlenkamp in Würzburg. That group measured the non-local resistances and also the behavior magnetic field. Now, you have also learned that in two-dimensional topologic insulators, conductance should be quantized at the level of 2 e squared over h. So that's very similar to quantum Hall effect. Now, in quantum Hall effect, we have these conductances or Hall resistances being quantized extremely accurately, up to precision of 10 to the minus 8. Is that also the case for quantum spin Hall effect for two-dimensional topologic insulators? Well, if you look in the literature, you will see that, well, it's an approximate quantization you will see fluctuations around the expected value of the conductance. So there certainly is room for improvement. It turns out that these uh, mercury telluride samples are actually very difficult materials to uh, both to grow and both to handle. So there's only very few groups that can, can do that. Because of that, many experimental groups lately have shifted to also try the indium arsenide gamma tumulobite based samples for two-dimensional topologic insulators. And recently they were a couple of experiments which on the one hand look very promising, but on the other hand also very puzzling because, for example, there was very little magnetic field dependence. So there we're not quite sure yet where we stand. Still I'm very optimistic that we can improve these materials, we can improve the quantization. And once we get to a good degree of protection of these edge states, then these two-dimensional topologic insulators also are very promising materials for Majoranus and non-abelian braiding. Because when you put these two-dimensional topologic insulators in contact with superconductors, Majorana fermions almost naturally appear. But that will be the topic of a future lecture.